Welcome everyone to State of the Game, 31st of August. There are some issues with the game right now. Uh, we had a maintenance today, yep. uh, and there was a bug where players would not get retroactive commendations, which was fixed. That's fixed. Correct. Yep. Uh, but there are two kind of main issues right, right now. There are, yeah. Uh, we've talked about it on the forums. We've uh, come across, I think, pretty clearly with our statement. Yep. Uh, the RPM glitch. People yes, who are, it's called, yeah, yeah, it's called the RPM glitch. Yep. Uh, and we are aware. Uh, we're... Uh, we have a fix. Okay. It's, uh, not that been deployed yet. No. Uh, as soon as it's uh, it's done and tested, we'll we'll deploy it as soon yes, as possible. Exactly. And do remember uh, the statement we did on the forums and on Twitter that uh, if you use it and abuse it, well, we will take action against you. Yes. There was another one. The bolt action sniper rifle is not working quite right. Yeah. There's right a yamming issue where yeah. you you fire and then suddenly your gun jams up. That is, mm -hmm. uh, we are aware of that as well, and we're fixing it. Yes. Uh, the only thing is that it's a client side fix, so it yes. might take a little while. Sure. So Yannick and I talked about this last week on State of the Game. Uh, obviously, we've got 1.8, and we'll talk about that very soon. But there will be a client patch before 1.8, yep. yep. uh, which some fixes will be in, and we'll have more information about that. But that's not a today thing. The masks that we were, we talked about last week, those mm -hmm. should be on the way very soon. Yep. Um, based on the percentages that we told you, um, if you are not sure about what we're talking about, we talked about that last week. Yeah, so um, they should come yeah. end of this week or early next week. It yes, like. okay. Um, so the delay of global event number two, uh, I think uh, we're, we're pretty close to hitting it as to what the intended date was. Yeah. Uh, it may be one to two weeks behind. Yeah. That will have some uh, context very soon because we, like we said, we weren't quite happy with the leaderboard system uh, and there will be some changes to that for global event number two. Yeah. What's happening this weekend? This weekend yeah. we're doing a special event again. Woo! Uh, so we're going to give out, oh, that's my camera now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do the extra drop from named enemies again. Yeah. Uh, so you'll get a, kill the named enemies, get an extra drop. But this time, since classified gear can drop from named enemies, that's included? No. 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 Damn it. I'm sorry. I quit. I'm so sorry, but no. All right. All right, no, it's, it's still fine. We, if you missed it yesterday, we dropped the trailer for 1.8. We fought to save our city, but the fight is far from over. Westside Pier. Our enemies are regrouping, and worse, they're working together. They've decided that we are their common enemy. We only have one option. Do whatever it takes. Whoever we're up against. To take back the West Side Pier. trailer there's a couple of drops on there that people have seen resistance is one of them and skirmish is the other and obviously 1.8 yep. is bigger than yep. those two things and people will learn that as we get through it but can we just kind of go through resistance and skirmish from a very very top level uh what what sure. is, what is resistance firstly well resistance is the division's take on horde mode if we just wanted to be straight up blunt i um, love it yeah just straight in to the point yeah yeah uh, and designed to be highly replayable and available for the casual player, right? But also the ultimate test for our, our most devoted okay. player base. So I'm sure it's I'm, the uh, the new activity that just doesn't give up. It will right. keep coming at you. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll get into uh, some specific questions soon. But the first one I have is: so you can play it solo? You sure can. Absolutely. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, so it scales oh. and all of that. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, Top level of skirmish. What what is that? Uh, skirmish is, I think, what we've all wanted, right? For, For a very 4 based PvP with no AI. Yeah. 
and custom built maps mm -hmm. uh, and nice short fast fun okay cool. yeah it's intense so yeah. so less less running more fighting yep oh yeah all right mm -hmm. cool yeah it's all it's all about the combat the big new thing coming in 1.8 is a new zone uh, actually no two new zones is that right guys yep. sure is all right so can you tell us big. a little bit about west side pier because i mean i know people have like kind of glitched out into the an early version of you know placeholder stuff, but what what is Westside Pier? Well, new new map new map exploration, mm -hmm. right? I think I think the high level plan that we executed upon was really we want to give players a new place to explore, mm -hmm. open up parts of Manhattan they've never seen before, give them reasons to explore it, and make it a new place, a new dynamic place, a new way to interface with the open world. Yeah, it's a it's a open world zone, PVE zone, but it plays very different uh, from the, the open world that players are familiar with. Uh, it's it's a more dynamic place that every time you enter it, um, you're getting new challenges and there's kind of new little things for you to do. Cool. Yeah, so different that we created a whole new spawn system. I was just right, going to so. say that. So I, I kind of went yep. through the build yesterday with Tony, and uh, the AI spawning is completely different, and it felt really cool, like uh, an entirely new... Uh, like I don't know, you're kind of getting ganked by AI. It was, yeah, uh, it was uh, very cool. It, it, it is. It's super nice. I'm sure people saw it in the trailer, right? And it's been on all the all the blogs and stuff. The factions are working together. So, so I, the dynamic spawning plus <laughs> the the synergies between the the the. The, the factions. It's an interesting thing to be fighting LMB, have them drop a support station down and have it, you know, healing the cleaners as they close in on you. Like, <laughs> it's it's a cool new dynamic. Yes. Oh, man. Why you got to do that? <laughs> All right. So we got we got Yannick and Tony who are going to give us the, the tour around. Uh, and people have already picked up on Mugalodon, Terry. So we, oh, have have our, we have our extra cast member. Perfect. Love nice. It. All right. So what are we looking at, guys? This is a new safe house. This is Camp Clinton. Yeah, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a safe house. I think of it okay. as um, terminal, a, terminal light. Yeah, okay. it's got all the stuff that you kind of expect to find uh, to kind of start kick off your your gameplay session. So your you know your calibration and crafting and all your vendors and um, but it's also got things added that are kind of new to the West Side Piers. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to track you know your weekly assignments, things like that. Mm -hmm. Stuff for resistance. Stuff for skirmish and a couple of things. Very cool. This is where the uh, new spaces are um, for skirmish. Mm -hmm. um, we have activities that are going to draw players up and around, all around the space for exploration. Okay. And uh, that's when you'll get jumped by all the dynamic, awesome spawning. Yes. Um, we're actually going to be feeding players something called alerts. So right. awesome. Shade will be delivering alerts to you constantly, and uh, there'll be alerts in the north and alerts in the south, and that's really, that really drives, let's say, the loop of the of exploration and gameplay. Yeah, I'm actually super excited about these, just because every time you come in, they will be in different locations, you might have slightly different objectives, and on top of that, you know, the combat's different because all the, all the actual AI spawning is, uh, is dynamic. Right. Um, Sometimes the... Uh, the AI that spawn, they'll be absolutely aware of you, and they will get right on you. And sometimes, sometimes they won't, and you'll have an opportunity to surprise them. Yes. Uh, so I, I see people in chat talking about it, and they're asking, like, is there a new incursion? There, there is not a new incursion in 1.8, but while there is no new incursion, and there's uh, a lot of activities in the open world, there is narrative elements. Uh, so yes, I, I talked correct. about that with, with Tony yesterday. Uh, Tony's the other Red Storm. Tony's a producer, right, on your side? The man. The man. Yes. The one. Yeah. The, the Sturtle. Uh, so we were going going through it yesterday, and there's there's some interesting narrative in there. I don't, don't want to spoil things for people, but there's a whole chunk of audio logs. That. Yes, uh, I'm glad you don't want to spoil it. There's a lot, in fact. Yes. Uh, a lot of continuation and explanation, but you have to explore West Side Pierce mm -hmm. to find out what that is. Yes. Probably more than people realize. Anyway. Uh, yeah. But so we we kind of saw the Intrepid just before. Mm, that's that, beautiful. Yannick's looking at it right now. Uh, that, that big Whoa. battleship thing's called the Intrepid. Um, Aircraft carrier. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I said battleship. I didn't mean that's it. That's all right. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. I, uh, I, I'm glad I had someone here to keep me accurate. 
<laughs> we'll just fact check you. All right. So, so what's going to um, what's going to happen on the Intrepid, guys? Can we talk about that? So, you, I, yeah, you do a few things around that area. So, mm -hmm. you know, most of this open world is is totally free for you to explore, right? And then. Some areas are built specifically for the gameplay of skirmish and resistance. Mm -hmm. um, so actually getting inside and going through the belly of the Intrepid um, is something that you know, you'll do as you explore deeper into the resistance game mode. Okay, cool. There are three main spaces that we built for... Um, for the new, totally new gameplay for skirmish and resistance. Mm -hmm. okay. And so Intrepid is the one nearest to Camp Clinton. Um, and as you move a little bit further north, you kind of go out onto the piers and you're kind of down by the water. It's really kind of a cool new environment. Lots of shipping containers and cool kind of ins and outs. Um, and then as you move further all the way north, um, you kind of start exploring uh, the subterranean areas of Westside Piers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stuff underneath. I like subterranean, it's a good word. Alerts can happen in any yeah. number of these locations. You got my lower third up. Which is, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, you might have an alert that tells you to come and that AI are kind of taking over this location. So you'll have this kind of big fight in this particular POI and up on the roofs of this building. But then the next time you come here, you might, say, be protecting a, an, a, a Shade Tech terminal in, uh, in that nightclub. One thing we really tried to push, you know, LD-wise is the fact that these spaces are really connected, right? Like he was in the car wash, seamlessly went up onto the, to the rooftops. There's multiple ways to hit this nightclub, but you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go, right? And the AI are, are going to spawn around you um, depending on the routes you take. Oh, nice. get in the club, yo. Oh yeah. I expect, I expect to see yeah, no, many gifts. It's so cool. Of people emoting in the club. It's an aquarium. Dude, that floor is ridiculous. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, the art staff crushed it. My my first thought when I saw that, and I asked Tony, I was like, "How expensive is that floor? Or have you guys done some absolute magic trickery? What's going on there?" <laughs> we have an amazing tech art staff that were able to provide the magic required for something like that, and to still have the factions and the AI spawning. Uh, they they I salute them. They crushed it. That's crazy. That's really cool. It looks awesome. Thank you. So something cool I want to point out here is like they moved through that nightclub. Now they're a little bit further north. Yeah. And so they've been given a new objective in the northern, uh, more northern section of the map, right? To like push them to a new location to help them explore further. Yeah. Uh, Tony actually brought up this, the, this yesterday, Terry, and I wanted to talk about it with you because you said that you would be much better to talk about it. But this area, I think we're going into the park here. Is that right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, do it, park. So there's obviously a lot of visual storytelling going on as well. Or maybe not obvious, because uh, it's you know not really what a lot of people look at. But there's like a mass grave up here, right? There sure is. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and, well, and not cool. Mass graves aren't cool, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel you, dog. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> well, it ties in a lot to the, a lot of the lore of the, the Dark Zone. Right, obviously you'll see a lot of body vaults in the dark zone, you'll recognize that yeah. for those players that go to the dark zone. And a lot, this happens to be right on the, uh, the route, the delivery route, that um, they were taking bodies out of uh, the dark zone and initially burying them here properly, um, as opposed to some of the improper burial that you saw in DZ North um, when eventually they just started dumping bodies. So this was sort of the beginning of, hey, we're gonna treat this nicely. We're going to respect the dead. Um, and then that obviously the collapse continued and hell broke loose. It, we have a bunch of behind the scenes uh, tuning we can do, right? To try to create different paces of gameplay for the players, different AI combinations. But we're, we're filling it with possibilities. And then based on where the player is, um, it's, it's spawning unique engagements each time. So it's based on, you know, the player's line of sight, where they are, um, what kind of smart spawn locations there are to, uh, to place an enemy at. And then there's a whole budget system that's kind of tracking um, how much AI budget is there to spawn? How many AI can I spawn right now? How difficult can I make this combat for players, right? 
So when you're playing resistance, it has a lot more room to make things very challenging for you. When you go do the alerts, it's more challenging than this. And we can kind of fine tune and craft gameplay while still keeping it really replayable because it's different every time. That was the huge push, was the dynamic nature of it. The fact that it's gonna be different every time you play, anytime you step into Westside Pier, you're gonna have a different experience, whether that's the different uh, alerts, uh, different AI structures, everything's gonna be different. We didn't want it to be stale at all. Yeah, so those are, those are the alerts. So if you look like on their uh, mission tracker right now, they have an alert that's unauthorized access. And so their goal right now is to reach the area. And then the, up, the objective will kind of update as it pulls you through it. Um, this one in particular is, well, we'll see when we get here in just a second. Okay. But it's kind of a um, def defend uh, sequence. We know because those sequences are quite long, right? We're not gonna uh, we're not gonna have time to go through those today because they are quite massive. Uh, this these particular alerts can be, you know, I, I wouldn't say they're all terribly long, but they're a huge pace changer mm. uh, from the normal flow as you move around Westside Pier. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're kind of pushing them to be, you know, around the neighborhood of of three to five minutes of of really heightened combat. Um, and, and really kind of continuously mix up the pace of uh, just the West Side Pier's experience. Again, we don't have a release date for this yet, guys. We wanted to show you some early stuff, but we'll be showing you more. This is a, there's a lot coming in 1.8. Uh, people may have noticed on the map that sometimes there's D-Tech outside the dark zone. No. What, wow, is up? what is up with that? Um, <laughs> yep. D-Tech is, is the long forgotten resource in the game um, and we wanted to make it uh, important again. So okay. there's, yeah. a, there's a new way that we're going to allow players to optimize their gear and okay. it's going to use D-Tech. Okay, uh, I think... Alongside some other resources, but yeah. Okay. D-Tech is going to be super useful again. Okay, good. So we are you saying that people should stockpile D-Tech? Is that... Um, I'm just saying it's going to be used in 1.8. Underground is something that you will see changes to in 1.8 as well, guys. I've seen some people in chat talking about it. Um, that's not something we're going to be talking about today. That's uh, Reflections are working on that one. So we'll have to get Reflections on mm -hmm. to chat about that. But there's some really exciting things to the underground. So we'll, we'll get there. Sure is. Yeah. Every, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, you're given a new West Side Peers assignment. So this is something different than the, the daily assignment. There's more variety to them but it's just little sub combat goals, right? So we're trying to kind of layer your activities and really make this just a, a fun um, fun place to, uh, to have some dynamic PVE. So you might get one that's kill 15 enemies with your sidearm, and the next one might be kill 20 enemies within 10 meters. And they're just these little sub goals that push you to play differently, and it's, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's nice, and you can also complete them during resistance. Yeah, all the pacing, all, everything's layered to be paced properly, and as you probably saw, you get field proficiency here, so we just uh, it's a constant loop of reward and feeling good and accomplishment and help you work towards, you know, maybe your, your D-Tech goals, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're really trying to push... Um, push these different loops. So you might come out here and do dynamic West Side Peers content for a while in order to get division tech, to use the new optimization station, to improve your gear, to get back in resistance. And it just kind of keeps you in the game playing, progressing your character. We jumped right in and we can talk about leaderboards and masks. Yeah. Um, we made the decision to take masks off of leaderboards. Um, we, uh, we know that they're awesome looking and everybody wants them. And um, so, Generally speaking, masks will be tied to the playlist commendations in the global event. And, you know, one will be relatively easy to get and the others will be more difficult. Um, maybe requiring group play, maybe not. But the leaderboards will still exist. Cool. There'll still be rewards associated with leaderboards. Um, but the masks themselves are going to be pulled off of the leaderboards. We have made some adjustments to Hipfire. That's great. Yes. Wow. There, is, um, there are a number of balance changes, you know, coming with 1.8, right? Um, okay. One of the big ones is definitely a rework to hit fire, and, you know, that it plays into wanting to continue getting more competitive um, PvP for skirmish, mm -hmm. and also, you know, just kind of improve the overall experience of the game. So, 
you know, we are a cover shooter. Um, we want to make hip fire viable, but not the end all be all. So some things that are changing is you'll see the reticle is gone uh, while hip firing. Um, and also some of your, your aiming speeds are, are a little closer to your, your ADS down the scope uh, speeds. So it just kind of, you know, tightens up the experience and um, makes it feel a little more tactical. That's cool. Is this we wanted to make it. Sorry? Yeah, we, we just wanted to make it so someone that's hip firing doesn't force you to hip fire because exactly. of the advantages hip fire had before. Okay. So uh, is this kind of going to that whole effect. chicken dance discussion that I, I that a lot of people mm -hmm. are bringing up? Yeah. It is a big part of the chicken dance for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. New rogue system? Question mark? <laughs> Yes, we have also made a number of changes to Rogue. Um, we'll talk, we'll give all the details about that later, but yeah. kind of as a high line, we've always right. wanted to give the Rogue a more rewarding loop, right? Um, that means, you know, ro going Rogue and manhunt and stuff like that, so. But also for the hunters. Yeah, um, not hunters, the AI, the, but people that hunt Rogues. People who hunt okay. Rogues. So wow. there are extensive changes to the Rogue system. Uh, I see another question here. Is there weapon balance in 1.8? There is a uh, continued uh, push for, for better weapon balance, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we're making some targeted adjustments to some of the exotic weapons. Mm -hmm. um, we're improving uh, LMGs and kind of making them more viable. Um, cool. And we're also reworking some of the weapon bonuses, uh, like plus flat weapon damage is uh, getting replaced with a a percentage of weapon damage to kind of yes. promote uh, guns with lower RPMs. Great. So yeah, Savage Gloves with to lower RPM. Ones. All right. Awesome. Oh, that's great. People are going to be very happy about that, I'm sure. I mean, I haven't even seen chat. Yeah. They're, uh, they're going to be happy about that one. I, I guarantee it. New weapons? Mm -hmm. New weapons in, uh, in 1.8? New exotic weapons? How about that? Is that good? Uh, I, can, I can go with that. We'll leave it there. That's a, yeah, great, yeah. that's a great way to end yep. it. Thanks, guys.